All right, let's continue exploring this castle. Marco, where's your friend? Yep, is Polo in this place too? A big, beefy guy with a flushed face bustles around. He's stirring something up in a big bowl. What are you cooking? I'm making dinner right now. He proffers the bowl. Want a taste? You sure? He gives you a spoonful of some sort of pasta sauce with cavewood fruit used in the place of tomatoes. It tastes hideous. Marco notes your reaction. <laughs> Not quite there yet. Having trouble with the ingredients. What ingredients do you need? I was a cook on the surface before my big mouth landed me down here. Since then I've been trying to make a good pasta sauce, but I just can't seem to get the ingredients to make it work. If someone could bring me some decent oil or some garlic. Well, I'm just dreaming. He turns to his work. Alright. Cool. Captain Granby. He stole you with one leg and a bitter, angry expression. Hubbles about the halls. He supports himself with a polished cavewood cane. Are you the captain of the guard here? I am. I'm the captain of the tower guard. Big honor, huh? You don't sound too honored. Gives you an ugly smile. It's my big reward. Here's a surface above ground, but someone wants my post, plays a few tricks, and gets me down here. Join the army down here. Lead a charge in the Nephilim Fort end. He looks his leg. I end up at the tower. What's wrong with this tower? Tower of Patrick. Far away from anything important, everything interesting. Guarding books. Books! Oh, just go away. I'm sick of all of you. He hobbles off. Doesn't look like he has a cane. <laughs> Well then, only a couple more rooms left to look inside of. Patrick's Tower is protected by a contingent of Avernite soldiers. However, only an old and wounded are sent back here, far from the front. Soldiers here are acutely aware of their unwanted status. They are irritable and defensive. You don't learn anything from them. So then they got the easiest job ever, apparently. <laughs> Uh, is there a portal thing here? That'd be pretty cool. I feel like there should be. You pass through the subterranean garden, rich with the smells of algae and mold. A few of the plants growing in the trays spit tiny, harmless thorns as you pass. Someone is breeding dangerous, carnivorous fungi. And then you hear clay breaking. The pots around the edge of the room shatter, one after another. Plants tower from the wreckage. Alerted by the vibrations of your footsteps, there's a long pause. Perhaps there is something you could have done to tell them that they shouldn't attack. If there is, it doesn't happen. They attack. Fuck. Being attacked by funguses. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Awesome. At least they die easily. That's a really good thing about it. Assuming I think I do, I should. All right, that was easy. Bring it on next time, game. Oh, Gate's not there anymore. The guy down here, Arcanus Lethem. You know, I'm wondering where that one guy from the very beginning went. The guy that escaped, tried to kill me. Like his, I think his name was like Logan or, or Logram or something like that. Charles and Al, I'm pretty sure. There is a mage living down here in the tunnels under the tower. He is young and only slightly pale. He must have been sent down here only recently. His hands have green stains, probably from the plants and mold he has been raising. Who disrupts my solitude? I told Patrick that I would be left alone. I... He looks you over. Well, you are a warrior. I suppose that is impressive. I am Arcanist, the third circle left them. Were those your plants that tried to kill me? They were. You should not have bothered them. Now we'll have to grow replacements. Arcanists of the third circle. 
That was my title when I was an official sanctioned mage of the Empire. A lofty position, in case you didn't know. What was your specialty? Magic with plants. Carrying blights, creating new species, and so on. There is one small consolation of being sent down here. Your flora is fantastic. Why were you sent down here? I accessed forbidden knowledge. I admit it. I should have waited the few years it would have taken to reach Fifth Circle, but tomes of that level were far too tempting. What are you making here? New, powerful variations of flora. Research in this area has stagnated down here since crazy old Archmage Erica went off and became a hermit. Can you teach me any magic? He nods. And that is my cue to end the conversation. Go to the Tower of Magi if you need someone to hold your hand. Good day. Okay, what are you doing down here? Honestly, I can't stand the sight of you, Avernites. So docile. So sad, making your pathetic villages and hoping to be left alone. And what should we be doing? There is power down here. Raw, unnat raw natural, magical power. And the stones and the plants, take it. Feed off it. Make a new nation greater than the one above. He shakes his head. But then, I suppose not all have my ambition. Perhaps the people down here are wise in their own way. Oh, spare me. Weakness and wisdom cannot can be mistaken for each other, but only by the weak. Now leave me. I need to breed replacements for the fine plants who senselessly, senselessly butchered on the way in. Evernites do seem to lack ambition. Don't pretend to me. I'm sure you are as docile as the rest of the worms. If you lot got your revenge of Emperor Hawthorne for casting you down here, I would be impressed. Otherwise, leave me be. Cool. Alright. Uh I know where I know somewhere where you might go. Letham seems intrigued. Go on. A man named Kayas is hoping to form a new nation. He is looking for mages. A man named Kayas is hoping to form a new nation. He is looking for mages. <laughs> I really like how I'm like playing both sides. It's so interesting. You tell Letham about Kayas and his fort. Hmm. This Kayas fellow does seem ambitious. I'm intrigued. He walks over to his bedroll. Inside of five minutes, he's packed up for his journey. I suppose I am grateful. I can have what I leave behind. I tire of this place. Then he walks out of the room. Alright. All mine then. Sweet. That is so interesting. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Okay. Oh, I'm only able to break down this barrier. Interesting. Are you sure I'm only able to break that one down? Hmm. Yeah, higher level. Oh shit. I wasn't given like any abilities. This was like a book on the ground. Magical notes. Yeah, yeah, I took without anybody seeing me. <laughs> There's nobody here to catch me anyway. Awesome. Okay, what is this on the ground? Oh, it's just a potted plant, okay. Alright, let's get out of here now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to stay out here. Alright, let's wander around, I suppose. Uh, keep following, I guess we'll follow this pathway here, see where this goes. i hug the, the wall here, I guess. Yeah, I like hugging the wall. You walk by a lot of bones. In this secluded niche in the wall, you find what put them there. You can see a spherical creature floating by the west wall, followed by a group of insubstantial beings. You suspect that the floating creature might be a gazer, one of the far more dangerous denizens of the underworld. Although it has seen you with several of its many eyes, it doesn't seem to be in the mood for a fight, considering how powerful these creatures are. 
It's a good thing. Oh yeah, it's one of those beholder things. Shit, okay, let's uh, save and let's try and defeat it. It's got some vengeful shades on his side. Look at it, it's a legit beholder. There's nothing else to it. Really. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> like seriously, it really is. Alright, so we'll blow it away. Mmm. Oh, he's immune. Okay. No trouble. Okay, we'll stand right here, and this might finish it off. I think it should. No, he's immune to magic. Shit. Okay, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh dude, they're literally surrounding me. Wipes. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well. Damn, we're gonna need to. We need to kill that gazer before it becomes too powerful. But. Fuck! The problem is I need him to heal. Ah, <sighs> shit. Yeah. We're gonna need to heal my people. It, it's it's best to keep my people alive. All right, so we'll have you, I guess. Lightning again. Can, uh, damage the shades, I guess. Damn, that heal. Fuck. Only that just battle. He he wouldn't healed himself. Well, that fucking sucks. <laughs> okay, uh... Good. And you will do a flawless shot. Perfect. And you're gonna need to heal everybody again. And... I guess zap everyone. Damn, okay. This is a pretty big problem. Fucking balls, dude. Oh well, just, just attack there. We need to make sure we hit that guy. Don't daze us. Damn it. It's a huge fucking damage right there. Look at that. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's heal her. Gotta get her going again. Wow, I was doing so well at the beginning of this battle, but then the gazer just like f fled, like the main shit. And that is the start of my downfall. The very, very beginning. All right, we got rid of him. Yay! Sweet. How do you smite him? And we'll have her burn him. Awesome. All right. Killed the gazer. I feel so much better about it. I hope we get something very special. Now that the mighty gazer is dead, you search the area hoping to find glorious treasures among the bones. You find a handful of pretty crystals. Nothing else. Disappointing. A bunch of flaws. Ooh, we got a wisdom crystal. How is that disappointing? That's actually somewhat decent. Alright. Well, I'm okay with that. Shit, wisdom crystal is really good. Awesome. Alright. Let's search around. As you walk down the tunnel, you hear manic, high-pitched laughter echoing back and forth through the narrow tunnels. You feel like someone is watching you every step of the way. There's a cave. Gremlin's Gold. Oh, shit. That may be part of that quest that involved the gremlins or whatever. It's 
Sign says Fort something. Sign's barely readable because of the moss and mold. I see. Okay, also, some about that. Meet a patrol of Vernum soldiers watching the roads, the desolate and abandoned area. They greet you. Commander says, Welcome, friends. Always good to see friendly faces out here. Find yourselves in need of a meal and a good bed. Fort Remote is the southwest. We're always glad to help travelers in need. You have stumbled into a band of gremlins. They are four feet tall, brightly colored, muscular, by any measure you can think of, insane. Who just charged you, claws barred, laughing manically. Uh oh. Never fought a gremlin before. This will be interesting. Alright, we got rid of the lesser fuckers. Awesome. Alright. Let's uh, have one of these guys fight for me, I guess. Oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> Fine. to all these guys but I can't not in this angle I have to be right here maybe okay let's try here yeah there we go attack okay they're not extremely OP if they had taken like minuscule amounts of life right there then I would have like oh shit dude they really want to kill her they are pissed off at her okay their gremlins aren't too bad actually they're not extremely OP, or any of the like like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll have him cure her. I guess she'll move back right there, and squirt her juices that way. Cool. Okay, and you will spray cold air down there. Yeah. Alright. And she will stand far and spray down some lightning. Awesome. Alright, gremlins aren't too bad. At least those... I'm, 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 I'm assuming those are like the simple gremlins. I'm assuming there's going to be more types. Science says... I'm assuming it says, Beware gremlins. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, save. There's, uh, I see gremlins that I want to attack. We've stumbled into a band of gremlins. They're four feet tall. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the gremlins are what was laughing, apparently. Cool. Yeah, these guys have an insane amount of life points. Okay, we'll spray down there. Cool. Alright, and she'll spray. Maybe she'll attack that way. I don't fucking know. Seemed pretty decent to me. Get married, bitch. Alright. Cool. Almost. Let's see if we can kill them. I hope so. Yeah, these gremlins, they have pretty good high HP, and their magic, this lightning spell is actually really good against them. Not only because it attacks all of them, but because it actually damages them pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. Awesome. Alright. So we got nothing there. Among the wreckage of the gremlin camp, you find a scattering of tarnished coins and a ceramic flask. 